Another thing you will need a lot as a game designer is textures. In most of the tutorial or training series we've been looking at a white wall and a white floor and of course that gets a little boring when you decide to export your game. So to make textures pretty fast I use a plugin or a standalone application called FilterForge and it works pretty well with Photoshop as well as a filter. So if I for example want to make wood uh, for for example a closet or a box then uh, it can generate wood for me and then I can change the settings and for example change the color of the wood and uh, change the uh, the strokes or um, I can even make it tile seamlessly and what this will do is it will make sure that if it's uh, if it's on a texture then it will tile and you won't even see the difference between seams now for example if I wanted to make a crate then I can select the crate and it will uh, generate it for me and this is actually what I used to make the crate for the grenades and I can change the wood color I could change the brightness and I can change the paint job on it and it's all being generated for me now the cool part about this is that some of the filters also support normal maps so for example if I look at this type of metal and I go to filter and then render maps I can generate a normal map so that unity can recognize it as a bump so as soon as I click that you remember that bluish color and it will save this as a normal map now it's very powerful too and it works great with Photoshop for example if you want to have a texture that has multiple layers like a piece of wood with moss on it or metal with rust on it you can use them on separate layers and generate the rust as well as the metal very powerful tool that is used by a lot of game designers to speed up the process.